Hey, silver tubers. It's Mr. Zeke at the Silver Pouring Bench. It's been a little while since I did a video. Uh, since last weekend's sale, I'd like to give a shout out to everybody who participated in that sale. I appreciate it. I'm coming to you tonight with a special video because I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, I got a package in the mail today. So we're going to have an unboxing. But we're also going to cover my uh, Silver Shop pickups yesterday. Went by the Silver Shop and uh, picked up. They, they He called me. He said, hey, man, a guy brought in a 10-ounce bar, but he dropped it so the edge is bent. And, and uh, if you want, come by and pick it up, and I'll make you a good deal on it. I said, oh, dude, you know me. I'm a sucker. I'll be by. So... What started life as a 10 ounce bar ended up with all, ended up last night I turned them into all these little one, one and a quarter ounce chiclets. Cause I just, I just dig that size and that shape. To me, it's, it's really, really, really a neat, a neat shape and a neat, neat size. I did some loaf style and I actually, I did, uh, let's see here. I even did some kind, some of the ones that have the rounded ends on them. Um, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, yeah, that ten ounce bar. That's just that's just too much to have in one place. I like the little stuff. And I even came out this guy right here. Nope, not him. Look at that little guy. Now that that is a chiclet. And, uh, you know, on the way out, of course, I never when I when I go in, and I also picked up some more generic rounds. Because they're going to go in the furnace. Because that's where generic rounds belong. In the furnace. So they can turn into nice 4 ounce bars. I also, you know, I never leave with cash. Anytime I go in, he always gives me my change in uh, silver. Because he knows that, you know, if I don't want silver, what am I doing there? So my change was a 1964. I don't know why it's in this, you know, sealed wrapper, other than it doesn't look like it's ever been touched before. So maybe it has not. I don't know. And on the way out, of course, I spied this Johnson Matthew one ounce bar. You know, the beautiful ones are the the big, you know, kilo bars or ten ounce bars. And well, I ain't got the scratch for that. So for right now, at least I've got a Johnson Matthew in my collection. For a while now, I've had this idea, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated by the Krugeran. I'm a, actually, I'm obsessed with it. Ever since I saw Lethal Weapon 2, I've been obsessed with it. And um, uh, my friend over in the UK, you guys all know him, um, he posts videos of, of sand casting. He does Delft clay casting. And... I've been talking to him a lot about it, and he posted a really helpful instructional video so I could work my way into it. And I've decided, I ordered yesterday a replica Krugeran, and it's stamped copy, but it's actual size and it's actual diameter and weight. Um, and what I'm going to do, the adventure we're about to embark on, and I'm, I'm going to embark on it with you guys all together, because I believe firmly that we uh, we share our failures and our successes because that's what makes us a family. And so I got this in the mail today. I ordered it on Amazon, as my uh, my oldest son calls it. I got a Delft clay casting kit. And we are going together to embark upon attempting to make, like I said, I'll never be able to afford a, a uh, a, a true gold Krugerrand. Um, that's just, I can't have that much tied up into one coin. Um, I'm a low budget operation. And so, this comes with a set of rings. Inside ring and outside ring, I think. I'm gonna get rid of that. Nope, nothing left in the box. Inside ring and outside ring that fit together. And they have lineup marks, so you know you get it just right every time. And basically, we are going to attempt to pour. I don't have the I don't have the uh, 
the Kruger in yet. It hasn't come in the mail yet. And so I have to have a substitute uh, for the Kruger in right now. And so it comes with instructions, all different kinds of instructions. Um, they show it pouring from the top. We're not going to do that. I'm going to follow my uh, friend from over the over the pond, um, and we're going to we're going to. I'm going to drill a hole in the side, and we're going to pour from the side. And so, and what we're going to do tonight, when I stopped and dropped off, hang on just a second. Let me go get it. Okay, I'm back. What we're going to do? What I'm going to do? to practice to get ready for the almighty Kruger and arrival is I'm going to try to cast a silver replica, a 999 silver replica of the famed Susan B. Anthony uh, $1 coin. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. Now I also did at work today, I took another block of graphite to work and machined out a couple more molds because, you know, I have trouble sitting still. And I machined out a long, thin bar that I'm gonna try to fill uh, evenly. And if any of you remember the sale last weekend, I had one bar that we called the arc bar. Um, it was recommended, that was, it looked like an arc and I was like, dude, I dig it. But it was a chunky bar. It was like three and a half, four ounces. And so I made a smaller arc bar. And I'm thinking that's going to be about an ounce and a half. Maybe two, I don't know. But I digress. So I'm going to get to work on modifying this, uh, this set of rings. Ooh, that hurts your ears. I'm going to modify this set of rings so that I can pour from the with it sitting on the bench pour from the top instead of from the end because uh, that's the way the instructional video showed and then after that I'm gonna get busy tamping it down I even had to go to the uh, even had to run down to the store and get some baby powder because we didn't have any baby powder or talc powder in the house so I got it's fresh scent shower and bath so if anything we'll have a funked up coin but it will smell amazing so, I'm going to get to work, and I will be back for you guys. It'll just be a second. For me, it'll be a little bit. So, hang tight, and we'll get back together here in a second. Okay, so, phase one of Operation Casting a Coin is complete. I have drilled a pour hole, and I'd like to give a shout-out to 11 Robert 11. He's the, he's the one I was referring to in the videos showing him pouring a buoy knife and a another coin um we've been communicating and he he did a really good how-to video so i'm going to do my best it's kind of a small small pour hole but i'm going to do my best to make this work so i'm going to go ahead and start split this thing apart and i'm assuming i use the big end to fill first so i'm going to fill this up with uh delf sand a Delf clay, pack it down super duper tight, press my coin, cut my pour hole. I'm going to get it all ready to go, and then I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like before I get ready to pour. So hang tight. Appreciate your patience. All right, so I think the mold is done. We won't know until we're done. So I'm going to fire up the torch and get this uh, silver liquid hot. And we're going to pour it right here into the pour hole. And, uh, well, who knows what we're going to have when we're done. But we'll all know together. So hang tight. I'm going to fire up the torch. I'll turn it back on when it's good and liquid. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little louder now. Because we got the uh, torch going. But you can see it's getting liquid. Good and liquidy. So I want to I wanna make sure it's good and liquid. Because I want it to pour down that pour hole and not cool too fast. So I'm gonna get this crucible good and hot. I got it nice and nice and liquidy, so I'm gonna heat up the area where I'm gonna pour from. I'm gonna have to be pretty steady on this pour, because I don't uh, 
I don't want to pour it all over the workbench. I got a one ounce round in here. I hope everybody's ready because I don't think I'm going to get any readier. Here we go. Oh, got a little bit of fire. I forgot about that in his videos. <laughs> Pour that last little dribble of silver out onto the workbench here. It looked like it flowed in there. Now, I don't know how much detail we're going to have. Because uh, cause I don't know how well I tamped that down. but And I don't really know how long to let it cool either. So, well, uh, i tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. While we're letting that cool, we're going to pour... We're going to pour one of the mini arcs and see how that comes out. So hang tight. We'll heat up some more and I'll pour a mini arc. All right. So let's see how this uh, Susan B. Anthony came out. This is probably still pretty warm. I don't know what to expect here. I'm going to dump it out. in the. It was already pretty cool. You can see it chars up the... Uh, Charge up the sand. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, she's a wee bit rough. I don't know. I don't know how much you'd be able to see here. We're gonna take her over to the workbench. All right. So we got the finished product. It is not perfect, but for my first go round, I am thrilled. Uh, there's a ton of detail on a Susan B. Anthony, and I got a lot of it in there the first go round. I can read Liberty, I can read the date, it's a 1986. I've got the stars, I've even got the reeded edge. Um, I, obviously, I'd have to cut the sprue off. Um, but 11 Robert 11 can't tell you how much I appreciate all the help. Um, I think with a little bit of practice, tamping that uh, tamping that delf clay down, and um, you know pressing the coin good and tight, uh, I might actually be able to get my my silver Kruger in that I wanted. So I don't know. Yeah, that's barely. I don't want to mess up the coin. There's not much holding that on to that. Most of the most of the one ounce round is right here. Uh, the coin itself is rather small. Um, I wonder if I can cut it off. Oh, I still got you guys here without totally destroying it. Nah, I'm gonna end up destroying it. So I uh, I really wanted to weigh it to find out what a silver Susan B. Anthony would weigh, but I think I'm going to have to hacksaw that off to get it off clean or file it off, so hang tight just a second. Okay, so I got the sprue off, but I damaged the coin in the meantime. Um, you can see right here where the sprue is attached, um, but I weighed it and an actual Susan B. Anthony weighs... Anthony, actual Susan B. Anthony weighs 8.1 grams. The silver Susan B. Anthony weighs 9 grams, minus the uh, chunk I took out, so probably 9.2, 9.3. So thank you all for coming along on the ride with me. You can rest assured I'm going to be doing it again and again and again tonight just to uh, just to get into practice. So. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we will talk to you later. This is Mr. Zeke from the Silver Bench. Thank you.